Hi everyone, I am Saloni and welcome back to our channel Codera. So guys, if you are from a non-CSIT branch and want to get placed in Wipro, but the problem is you don't know how to prepare for the interview. So guys, don't worry, this video will help you for your interview preparation. So let's start the discussion. Okay, so before starting the video, let me share some tips with you that you should keep in your mind before you go for the interview. So guys, Wipro asked most of the question from your resume, introduction and the project. So please mention only those skills or technology that you really know. And also prepare the details or the explanation of your project very well. And if you will follow these three tips, then you will get definitely placed in the Wipro. So in this video, we will cover these questions, which are introduction, project related question, and guys, we all know different technologies, so we will cover important questions from C, C++, Java, Python, DBMS or SQL. And we will also cover branch related and IT related questions and the rest question we will cover in the second part. Now our first question is tell me about yourself. So I have already discussed this question in the previous video, but if you didn't watch that video, so here again I will tell you how to answer this question. So first thing is never memorize the answer. As this question is asked by the interviewer because he wanted to know about you, who you are and what knowledge you have. So this should be like a conversation. So please don't memorize your introduction. So your answer should be in a proper sequence. You can give your answer in form of timeline. So you can start from your personal introduction, like from where you are and you can also tell him about your family and then tell him about your education. After that, tell him about your projects that you have done in your graduation and then the technical knowledge you have. And in last, you can share your achievements and your other interest. And please remember one thing, always tell the truth in your introduction so that if the interviewer asks you something from your introduction part then you can you will be able to answer those questions and one more important thing is don't give a very long answer for this question so your answer should be brief and properly communicated so our next question is tell me about your family so if you didn't mention anything about your family in your introduction then he may ask you this question so you can tell him the name and the profession of your father, mother and the siblings. And if is there any other special thing about your family, so you can also mention it. For example, someone in your family do some social work. So mention this thing. It will create a positive impact on an interviewer. So our next question is tell me about your project. So interviewer will ask you to describe your project on which you have worked during your graduation or during your any internship. So he just wanted to know that how and where you implemented your knowledge. So to encounter this question, first you tell him what was your project and explain its complete working. And if it was a group project, then also tell him about your group members. And also tell him from where do you get the idea to create that project if your project is based on some real life problem. And then mention which technology you used to build that project and why. And explain him how your project is beneficial to solve the real world problems. So in this way you can beautifully answer this question. So after this question his next question will be what were the difficulties you face in your project. So the intention behind asking this question is that the interviewer wants to know about your problem solving skills. So mention only those problems or difficulties which you have faced in your project and successfully solve them. So first you tell him about the difficulties and then explain what approaches you use to solve those problems or difficulties. And if you worked in a team, then don't forget to mention about the team members in problem solving. So by doing that, you are telling the interviewer that you are also a team player. So it will be very beneficial for you. Now the next question related to project is, how would you handle stress or pressure in the project? So the intention behind asking this question is that the interviewer wants to get a better idea of how you handle various stressful situations at work. So here you have to answer appropriately. You can't say like I never get stressed. 
After all, everyone feels stress at one time or another at work. So, to answer this question, you have to provide any specific example of how you have handled stress well in the past. So, while answering this question, you should keep this point in your mind, like how stress motivates you, and show them that you can manage multiple tasks at a time, and try to focus on the positive action. and you can also mention the skill that you have learned while working under the pressure like time management and in last you can mention your goals and the results so here is one example i have found that a healthy amount of stress motivates me to stay on the track and work as efficiently and effectively as possible for me deadlines are important for example college or school exams So at the time of exam I study much better before one day of the exam because when I am under pressure I use my time management skills to get the task done so this is how you can give your answer now let's see some important question from C language so our first question is what is pointers so pointers are like variable which is used to store the address of a value pointer are also known as indicator or locator So after giving this definition you can mention some advantages of the pointer. So you can say like with the help of pointer we can return multiple values from a function and pointer help to reduce the code and it also enhance the performance of the application. And after the advantages mention some uh, some uses like you can say we use pointer for dynamic memory allocation and so on. and the interviewer can also ask you to write a code based on the pointer so i would suggest you to be prepared with the syntaxes so in this way you can answer this question so our next question from c is what is a static variable in c so a static variable is a variable that preserve or hold its value across the various function calls and we use a static keyword to define the static variable and the static variable exist till the execution of the program and also the static variable can be local or global and the last point is the default value of static variable is zero now let's see the syntax for the static variable so first we have to write the static keyword and then we have to give the name of the data type and in last we have to give a name to the variable so this is the example of the static variable which is static int where 1 equal to 4 so here 4 is the value of the static variable so now our next question is what is oops or object oriented programming system so this is the most important question in c++ and also in java so to answer this question you can start by giving a small definition of object oriented programming and then you can specify that six major object oriented programming concept which are object class encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism after that explain this concept with real life example and here real life example are very important because when you tell the interviewer about this examples then he became to know that you really know this concept and it's working at that moment you are not like those candidate who just memorize the definitions so this real world example will add more credit in your selection now our next question is what is constructor in java so for this i have already uploaded a video so please check out the link in the description box so our first question from the python is what is the difference between list and tuple so guys this is very important question of the python technology so the list in python are mutable while the tuples are immutable and if we iterate the list then it is slower as compared to the tuple and the next difference is the list is better if we have to perform the insertion or deletion operation while if we have to access the element then we should go for the tuple and also list consumes more memory while tuple consumes less memory as compared to the list and the last difference is list has several built in method while tuple does not have many built in method as compared to the list so these are some differences between list and tuple so the next question from the python is what is the difference between list and array so here are some differences like the first major difference is 
लिस्ट कैन स्टोर द वैल्यू ऑफ डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप वाइल अरे कैन ओनली कंसिस्ट ऑफ वैल्यू ऑफ सेम टाइप और अरे कंटेन ओनली होमोजीनियस टाइप ऑफ वैल्यू एंड लिस्ट आर द बिल्डिंग डेटा स्ट्रक्चर सो देर इज नो नीड टू इम्पोर्ट द लिस्ट वाइल इन केस ऑफ अरे वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट द अरे एंड सो ऑन सो इन दिस वे यू कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन देन दे मे ऑल्सो आस्क यू दैट डू यू नो अबाउट द डी बी एम एस और एस क्यूएल सो द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी यस और नो इट्स अप टू यू इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट द एस क्यूएल और डी बी एम एस देन यू कैन से नो सर आई डोंट नो अबाउट इट और ही मे डायरेक्टली आस्क यू सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एस क्यूएल और डी बी एम एस सो ही मे आस्क यू लाइक वॉट इज डी बी एम एस सो इन आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन से लाइक द सॉफ्टवेयर विच इज़ यूज टू मैनेज डेटा बेस इज कॉल्ड डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम और डी बी एम एस सम एग्जाम्पल्स आर माई एस क्यूएल और ओरेकल सो अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिलीट एंड ट्रंकेट सो गाइज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिलीट एंड ट्रंकेट इज दैट डिलीट इज अ डी एम एल कमांड वाइल्ड ट्रंकेट इज अ डी डी एल कमांड एंड द सेकेंड इम्पॉर्टेंट डिफरेंस इज वी कैन रिस्टोर और रोल बेक द डिलीटेड डेटा इफ वी यूज द डिलीट कमांड वाइल वी कैन नॉट रिस्टोर द डेटा विच वी हैव डिलीटेड यूजिंग द ट्रंकेट कमांड सो टू नो मोर अबाउट द डिफरेंसेज यू कैन चेक आउट माई वीडियो वेर आई एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिलीट एंड ट्रंकेट विद द एग्जाम्पल सो अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट आर कॉन्स्टेंट्स इन एस क्यू एल सो गाइज आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड टू डिटेल वीडियो ऑन एस क्यू एल कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू कैन ऑल्सो रेफर दोज वीडियोज एंड देन ही मे आस्क यू वॉट इज द प्राइमरी की इन एस क्यू एल सो यू कैन से प्राइमरी की इज अ कॉलम और अ ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलम इन अ टेबल दैट यूनिकली आइडेंटिफाई ईच रो इन दैट टेबल एंड अ टेबल कांट हैव मोर देन वन प्राइमरी की एंड ऑल्सो प्राइमरी की कांट बी डुप्लीकेट इट कैन ओनली हैव अ यूनिक वैल्यू एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट द एस क्यूएल कीज देन प्लीज चेक आउट द वीडियो लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ लेट सी सम क्वेश्चन विच इंटरव्यूअर कैन आस्क यू रिलेटेड टू योर ब्रांच लाइक इफ यू आर फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ब्रांच देन ही मे आस्क यू सम क्वेश्चन लाइक वॉट इज आई ओ टी एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन एंड वॉट इज माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड सपोज इफ यू आर फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल ब्रांच देन ही मे आस्क यू वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू स्ट्रोक एंड फोर स्ट्रोक इंजन और हाउ फोर स्ट्रोक इंजन वर्क और वॉट इज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल सो दीज आर सम एग्जाम्पल क्वेश्चन बट आई वुड सजेस्ट यू टू प्रिपेयर सम बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर कोर ब्रांच नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू जॉइन आई टी सेक्टर सो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन से लाइक एज वी आर लिविंग इन द एरा ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हैंस आई टी इंडस्ट्रीज आर ग्रोइंग वेरी रेपिडली सो इन दिस सेक्टर माई करियर हैज मोर ग्रोथ अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड आई ऑल्सो फाउंड माई सेल्फ मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट्स वाई आई वॉन्ट टू कम इन आई टी सेक्टर सो नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डू यू नो अबाउट एनी ट्रेंडिंग टेक्नोलॉजी इन आई टी सो द इंटेंशन बिहाइंड आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन इज they just wanted to know that you are really interested in it sector and you are aware about the new technologies so the trending technologies are machine learning artificial intelligence automation cloud computing blockchain and so on so you can mention any one or two technologies from the given list and also give a brief definition along with the real life example of that particular technology so this is how you can answer this question so guys this is all about today's video and in second part we will cover the hr and behavior based question so if you like this video so please hit the like button and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching